All right, let's check in on several provinces taking significant steps towards reopening today. In Charlottetown, we have Ryan, Ryan Ross of The Guardian. In Montreal, CTV's Emily Campbell. And in Winnipeg, CTV's Jill Mackishon. We're going to start with Ryan in Prince Edward Island, which is moving into phase three of its renewed PEI plan. Great to talk to you this morning. Uh, tell me, what is, uh, what's allowed to reopen today? Uh, some of the things that are reopening today, we're going to see restaurants. Uh, they're going to have some limitations, obviously. They still want to keep everybody social distancing, um, so they're limiting the number of people per tables. Some restaurants are taking different measures, like wearing masks for servers, things like that. Um, we're also seeing a big change here that some people were really pushing for was visits to long-term care facilities. So we've had seniors living in long-term care facilities that weren't able to have any visits with family members or loved ones. So that's going to be opening up a little bit. Uh, they're going to have a couple of visitors allowed under some strict limitations, but at least they're going to be able to get some visits in. Um, some organized sports are going to be opening. Um, we're also seeing seasonal residents are going to be allowed to start applying to come to the province, which has been a bit of a contentious issue, but we're going to see the application process start. Now they're saying that we're not going to see a big influx of people coming in right away because the application process is going to take a little bit of time. But uh, all of those things are sort of slowly rolling out and uh, life's starting to get slightly back to normal here. Ryan, let's go back to bars and restaurants for a moment uh, as it pertains to the rules around physical distancing. Are the rules laid out explicitly as to what needs to be done or do restaurants have latitude to determine how to implement sort of general, uh, those general rules of physical distancing? I think the rules are pretty well set out, and then some can, depending on the circumstances, uh, they may be able to do a little bit more uh, just to ensure whatever they feel is safe for their customers. I know one restaurant in Charlottetown was going to have orders placed at a distance, and uh, someone would bring the food to the table with someone wearing a mask. Uh, they're going to be wiping down tables, uh, things like that. So the restrictions are going to be, I think, pretty similar all across the board, just a matter of how everybody's implementing them. Well, Ryan Ross in Charlottetown, thank you very much. We wish you uh, and everyone in uh, PEI the very best of luck with this next phase of reopening. Uh, we're going to move on now to CTV News' Emily Campbell. She's at a school in Montreal, uh, just one of the special needs schools given the green light to reopen in Quebec today. Good morning to you. Good morning. So the majority of Montreal so area schools... So in front schools, of uh, McKay School... With, oh, I'm sorry. The, yes, uh, the majority of Montreal that's right. area so schools it's are... It's not the majority of Montreal oh, area not. schools. Oh, so continue. They're not. So it's it's mostly schools for special needs that are allowed to open in the Montreal area. Montreal is a lot different than the rest of the province, where outside of Montreal, schools were allowed to open. But here in Montreal, where it's we're much more harder hit by the COVID-19 virus, uh, the government has decided to keep most schools closed, except for these ones for special needs. Uh, it, yeah, but it's not just the special needs schools. What, what else is allowed to resume uh, to reopen today? Well, there's a lot of things in this next phase of reopening. Of course, it's uh, staggered between Montreal and there's another area hard hit called Joliet. Uh, but today we're seeing the economy really reopen with daycare centers opening to the public. Uh, also, government services like uh, automobile licensing, uh, rental board and the courthouses are going to reopen. We're also seeing shopping malls outside of Montreal open. Here in Montreal, stores that have uh, street entrances are allowed to be open and uh, private health services are going to reopen as well. So things like osteopathy, uh, dentistry, uh, massage therapy, those things are allowed to reopen. Of course, people are being encouraged uh, to wear masks and protective equipment if they're going to take advantage of these services and, of course, wash your hands. Emily, uh, Quebec is in an interesting position. They're essentially ground zero. Uh, for COVID-19 in Canada with the most cases uh, and yet aggressively reopening. I'm wondering what people on, on the everyday person thinks about sort of the, the, the duality of this situation in Quebec. That's right. I mean, it depends on where you are and who you are. Uh, 
lots of uh, Quebecers have been polled, and it has been found out that English Quebecers are particularly concerned about uh, the spread and uh, can catching COVID-19. Uh, but largely, Quebecers who have been polled are some of the least concerned about uh, catching the virus. Uh, so the government is following the will of the people uh, when it comes to reopening in such an aggressive way in many cases. Emily, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And finally, Manitoba enters the second phase of its reopening process today. CTV News' Jill Makishan is in Winnipeg. Jill, take us through what's scheduled to reopen today. Well, Ben, today is really the first real rush hour here in Winnipeg, the first one we've really seen in months. As Winnipeg moves into phase, as Manitoba moves into phase two reopening, so essentially almost everything else will be open. Initially, it was hair salons, it was restaurants, patios only, uh, shopping malls had reopened, some stores had reopened. Today, you're going to see restaurants back to uh, indoor capacity, up to 50%. Uh, as we had mentioned, seniors' homes will be allowed to have visitors now, up to two people outdoors uh, meeting with loved ones that they haven't seen in months. Senior centers will be allowed to be reopened today, up to 15-person capacity. These are sort of community centers where seniors have gathered, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to be with other people, to, uh, to actually start... Uh, seeing people that maybe they haven't seen in a very long time. So estheticians, tattoo uh, artists, uh, swimming pools are back open, splash pads, sports are allowed, uh, but not contact sports. Gyms are reopening, spas are reopening. I mean, Manitoba has actually been in this position where we've, uh, we've seen the COVID-19 cases drop uh, from about 20 about two months ago to, uh, I think we're, we're down to one, we had one positive case on Sunday. Uh, there's only 10 active cases in the province right now. Manitoba has fared so far very well as reopening phase two begins today. But how strict uh, will the hygiene and physical distancing measures be for those personal service businesses you mentioned, like manicurists and tattoo parlors? Yeah. Well, Manitoba's chief public health officer has not been, you know, actively or aggressively telling Manitobans to wear masks. He says it protects uh, the people around you more than it really protects you. He says, though, if you want to wear a mask, it makes you feel more safe, then wear one. So but we are seeing now as the spas reopen that more people are, are talking about masks being mandatory as you enter spas. There's more staggered appointments, that sort of thing. But the chief, Manitoba's chief public health officer has said, really, the main thing is physical distancing, and that's what will be maintained as we move into phase two. Uh, as I mentioned, with restaurants, you know, uh, tables will be more uh, two meters apart, uh, staggered appointments, um, that sort of thing. So it does seem Manitobans, I mean, I've seen the parks were full this weekend again as we, we went through a beautiful weekend here in Winnipeg. Uh, but people are, do seem to be maintaining those, those distancing or that distancing as is required so far. Jill McShawn in Winnipeg, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.